a full-time resident taking one long distance flight per year of 20 hours can already achieve an ecological footprint of 1.0. Nice to be associated with your project. So mm. that's for us also. Yeah. I would absolutely love to do that since, like, I came across like many, many suppliers, and I was like, oh, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to do the mattress <laughs> with them. I want to do that with Hevea because you have, the, you are, you are on the same path that we are on. You, you stand for the same values, oh. and the others do probably only do it because there's a market for that. So I absolutely would love to to collaborate on that. Only the calm foam is, is what's used in 99% of the mattresses mm -hmm. above the springs. Mm -hmm. But but that's, you know, um, it will disintegrate after many years, you know, like crumbs. Mm -hmm. But but they they are actually microplastics. And mm -hmm. a plastic bottle you can still reuse. But, but this foam, there is no solution to, at the moment, I'm sure they will have it in the future. Um, but that it, it just stays in, in landfill forever and mm. then it ends up in the river. So mm. mattresses and sofas, they're actually the biggest, uh, the, the most difficult products at the moment for for, for re uh, recycling and reusing. Oh, wow. That's, um, yeah. I think for, okay. the, for, for, for everything else, um, I already have a, like 90% finished uh, version of what we need with the bed sheets and with the with the uh, fitted sheets and everything else um should i send that over to you or should i send that to to fanny so that maybe in the end like you can make a like one final offer for like everything we need including the mattresses and so on i will talk to them for a, a, a total package i also I, i like what you do so we will make some some effort to support your project mm. and appreciate that yeah, something like that yeah appreciate that Stefan. thank yeah, you and the video thank you so much huh? the, uh, what a lovely video <laughs> this is uh i'm glad this you is like really it. i mean no the, the way you say it it's so genuine and, and full of emotions it's um yeah it, it's incredible thank you so mm. much you know mm. this is yeah wow that was a conversation with stefan And Stefan is the founder of Hevea. And by now you probably realize that I'm such a fan of their work and their natural and sustainable mattresses, bed sheets and so on. They're doing epic work. Like it's, ah, oh, they are certified B Corp. They dedicate all their efforts on bringing good into the world. <laughs> yeah, we just explored how a cooperation between Custodia and Hevea can look like. <laughs> this, sets, this sets my heart on fire. I can't believe it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Epic co-creation is, is coming. <laughs> yeah, Hevea will supply all our tents with everything we need there to make the night as heavenly restful as, as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Look at this, friends. This is my work of the past days. I created, oh, the new Custodia deck. Look at that. It was such a beautiful process. Designing. <laughs> and crafting this presentation. What is it that we are doing? What is it that we are truly, truly do doing? Custodia aims to help birth a Florence of the 21st century. These times require modern day Leonardo's. We need more polymaths, more Renaissance men and women with the capability to steer humanity through our current rebirth. Custodia aims to be a breeding ground for this next generation of Leonardos. Hmm. Custodianship at the essence. 
part startup incubator, part minimalist ashram, and part intentional community. Custodia is a place where everything comes together. The tropical mountains of Bali, a place where you raise your capacity to serve, and all that fully rooted in the gift. Hmm. Multi generational giving back to nature instead of taking from it in every single detail. Let me show you this. This is incredible. Custodia is enabling a life with an ecological footprint of 1.0. It must be the task of any custodian to lean towards living with an ecological footprint of 1.0, a lifestyle that would work for every single inhabitant on this earth. Castoria serves as a beacon for low footprint living without any sense of lack. A full-time resident taking one long distance flight per year of 20 hours can already achieve an ecological footprint of 1.0. This is incredible. Let me walk you through it. This is the ecological footprint calculator. How often do you eat animal-based products? No animal-based products at Castoria. How much of the food you eat is unprocessed, unpackaged, or locally grown? 100%. Either regionally or if imported, then unpackaged and unprocessed. Freestanding running water is the housing type. Uh, bamboo, there's no selection for tent, but let's say bamboo. That's the f foundation. Um, that the tents are having two people per tent one platform is 25 square meters um, on it there is the tent and there is a, a roofed terrace electricity yes energy efficient very no heating no cooling right very low electricity use what percentage comes from renewable resources currently zero but this is changing soon to 100 when we're switching to solar but uh this is not the reality yet. How much trash do you generate? Much, much, much less. How, how far do you travel? Let's say 40 kilometers by bike per week and 10 kilometers for the occasional once a month longer trip to the city um, shared with others. Car, average fuel efficiency and of course the bikes are electric. Let's see when they first uh, Custodia Tesla will arrive. <laughs> Not yet. Um, when you travel by car, we always tr carpool. We never go alone. Public transportation, we don't have that here. And how many hours do you fly each year? 20 hours. One long distance flight a year. And this gifts us with a result of 1.0 Earths. Earth overshoot day is 10th of January. That means we are taking less resources than one year can produce. That means this is a lifestyle that would work for every single of our 8 billion inhabitants of Earth. And yes, to be honest, nothing less than this can be the goal for any custodian. Like if we truly see ourselves as somebody who wants to contribute to positive change, we need to be role models for that. We cannot say like, oh, and then at the same time, we are taking three times the resources as there are for any human being. This is just misalignment. I'm very proud to be able to create a place where this, like practicing what you preach, embodying what you wish to see in the world is actually possible. And this guides every decision we make at Custodia. The space everybody has, the building material, how resources are flowing, what we are eating, what kind of soap is used, like everything. Everything is guided by this strong drive to be an embodiment of our values. 
and seeing this on the ecological footprint calculator is a beautiful proof, proof for that look what happened yesterday on the land it's incredible stefan and david and adi they were like going all in look at that building the the composting toilet um the wooden structure and then the bamboo pulupu on the outside i'm so grateful for what they for what they did look 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 is this the toilet with the most epic view in the world i think it is mm. <laughs> this is just before just wow just wow so grateful to see this I'm so grateful to see this and at the same time like it's for me the look at them <laughs> look at them <laughs> they are bringing the roof incredible incredible this for me is such a beautiful moment to like be here in bed resting with my body and still seeing how everything on the land is progressing so beautifully it's like <sighs> deep sense of gratitude all right friends that's it for today but i want to end this with a strong strong recommendation to check out the new custodia deck if you didn't uh, dive into it already i already shared it on instagram and via email on our telegram group if you haven't um, checked this out do it i'll link it here for you i'm so so happy with the result both content wise as well as visually and there is an invitation if you want to get involved in what we are doing here and if you want to support this um this is your invitation to to contribute a gift you can do this from everywhere you are of course would be nice to <laughs> to have more people here in bali but even from the other side of the world you can contribute a gift you find all the details uh, at the end of the uh, of the deck um three possible ideas if what i'm doing like over the past days months weeks years brought any value to you and you sense i want to give something back this might be a beautiful opportunity all further details are in the deck by the way option three is we're looking for a sponsor for a wood-fired sauna whoever will contribute this like will be our hero forever <laughs> <laughs> so yeah check out all the details in the on the deck thank you so much for all the support thank you for following along on the journey epic stuff is coming november has just started the last month of preparation until castoria is finally able to open looking forward to this special moment but first the next step will be done tomorrow see you then bye bye